good afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. And today we are hitting a local toy show. Let's see what's going on here. Spend a few dollars, have some fun. And then afterwards, we're going to have a little one-on-one, -on -one, me and you, talking about the worthwhileness of uh, local toy shows, smaller toy shows, things like that. And if uh, you should, you know waste your time or use your time valuably to go to these things. So let's get on in here, see what's going on, and have some fun. Alright, starting off over there? Yeah. That's what you're getting to. I have to stop. Rasslers. Two more. All the goods. Big fan, baby. Very cool. What's going on, man? So much stuff, so much stuff. Hard to take it in. Stop looking for some more of the buttons. I'm not really sure. Fantasy and science fiction is cool. Really neat old school. Yeah, well, they're not supposed to be water damage, you know that. I do. I, I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> Did he see the Star Wars glass? Yeah. Was that a McDonald's one too? Because it took what? Oh, yeah, I think, I mean, I think they do 125. They've been in my garage. I used to do a lot of comments. What else you got in your garage, man? You wouldn't believe it. They were in the man. So much, so much stuff. I'm not really trying to go into the detail of everything. Maybe we'll do that here a little bit. But I'm trying to do a quick run through and kind of get an idea of what is going on at these cool, awesome local shows. You know, what's the goods, what's the bad, all that kind of stuff. And really, so far, no bad. No bad at all. What's going on? Finding the goods? Spent it. Spend too much money? Thanks. No. Not yet. <laughs> no, it was right. It was cheap. <laughs> yeah, right? Awesome. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Always nice running into people you know, hanging out. Look at there. A $10 scorpion cheese rock. I like it. It's tempting for me. I won't. I will not deny. I will not tell you why. What's up, man? Brought all the goodies, huh? I haven't even taken a picture of the food yet. <laughs> it's been slammed already, I saw him. Well, I got here at 6.30. Yeah. It took me a while because everything was boxed up and wrapped up. Uh, Hey folks, thanks for coming to the show. I have a special shout out to Matthew Atkins. It's his 27th birthday today. So vendors, if you see Matthew, give him a good deal. Give him five percent. Alright, so I'm going to make this one. Alright, so we're going to do this one. Alright, so we're going to do this one. Alright, so we're going to do this one. Keep getting stopped here, which is not a bad thing. Always fun to meet, meet and see your old, old pals. 
hanging out at the store too. I think it's just old friends of Saturday morning toys hanging out. What's up, man? Hanging out, you know. Got to been drinking what you find, what you find. Finally found some Power Rangers. Oh, you know? there we go. <laughs> the Ranger collection growing? Yeah. Always. Always, Shooting always, for always. Uh, one of your videos, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent. Always I always enjoy watching out. Hulk's out. Next week, I'm having my power I've got the collector, I've got... I found the other green outside, picked it up. Showing all the goodies. Yeah, I didn't pick it up, the park was bad. So, I'm just... All the new stuff here. Yeah, this is my exclusive. And I'm picking them up right away. Of course. Massive. Of course. So they know what something is actually worth. It's not like someone's. Yeah, it's just it matters to me because it's I guess it's time for me to settle down and actually uh, make some purchases. Now, how did this happen? I ended up behind the booth selling. Dad! Dad! I don't know. I'm supposed to be selling, so I guess I'm going to be selling for a few minutes. Do Uncle DJ do an Uncle DJ thing? Or the Empire, or the Rebellion, or the Jedi. What's his name from uh, Saturday? Yeah, he's here. Yeah. Follow Uncle BJ and see what Uncle BJ. Yeah. Is into. Uh, some of my favorites as a kid. Good old troll. Looks familiar. I think you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's your ship, isn't it? What is this? A ship for ants? <laughs> Okay, the turtles over here. This lady's got a Miss Frizzle action figure, which is the most insane, cool thing ever. Oh, oh, actual, actual Joe comics. Yeah. I haven't seen real Joe comics in a while. Yeah, I found a whole bunch of them. That's the exact same one. Do you mind if I take this out of the bag? Oh, there may be batteries in there too. Morning, yeah. yeah. turtles, get this. I think I've said on previous ones that I just. My problem with Ninja Turtles is I need them like incomplete. Incomplete is what I need. He does that a lot. It's my personal business. So I'd like you to keep out of it. <laughs> all right, let's keep digging. If you don't, I mean, there's all your hobbits right there. I know. That's the thing. What do I do? I think you should get it. You're a terrible influence. Yeah. Here I am trying to figure out, do I have that Faramir? Tell that man to give me a good deal. I bet I do. Make this man give me a good deal. I'm not a Jedi. I have no <laughs> control. Let's see what we can do. Because I would have remembered putting that like on his on his noggin. Yeah, we made purchases. I got more additions to my Lord of the Rings collection. 
and as did BJ, so neither already has a figure, but you definitely need the helmet. Yeah. And I definitely need Dan, yeah. just in general. I didn't even really think about the fact that it just passed, so it yeah. kind of worked out. I used to have two of that figure, man. Got all the hobbits now. Dude. Yeah. Can't yeah, beat that. A little more close up on some stuff. Awesome figures. Check out our review on the Biker Meister Miners. Kyadi Mundi. An old, an old, old man, Kyadi Mundi. Sith? What Sith? Come on. Get out. There's no hey, Sith. Get hey, out. Hey. To be fair, a red lightsaber does not necessarily <laughs> mean a Sith. People need to understand that. Hey man, I'm team. I'm team Acolyte. Okay. <laughs> team Acolyte. I don't hate found something. Hey man. All right. Fair man. Nice. The ritual guy when I get group Okay. Whenever you get yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell them wait their turn. <laughs> Throwbacks has <laughs> precedence. <laughs> Again, awesome. Yeah, but like, I have a real hard all right, on the next room. Someone talking about getting up. Don't need him. I don't want him. Struggle. All right, so hanging out here in the uh, Ross parking lot, you know, about to do the normal Ross hit up, but uh, just finished up the show, and man, I spent way, way too much money for me. I usually hit these shows up and spend like 60 bucks, so I think I hit about 130 at this show. So that kind of leads into the answer of the question, which is, are, you know, toy shows still worth it? Specifically more so the smaller local toy shows, that kind of thing. Um, and I think absolutely. Um, if you're looking for grail pieces, one of a kind, like the it of um, collecting, then yeah, toy, uh, smaller toy shows are really not geared toward that. Um, so, but you're looking for $20, $25, you know, type purchases. These local shows are just bangers for that. And you can still find grails, don't get me wrong. Um, they are there, but, um, you know, typically the people coming in there are coming in, you know, for free um, or at a, at a small price. I know a lot of them have, like, early birds, so this one has, like, an hour early bird where you can pay, like, $10 more or something like that. So, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's a, you know, collector heavy. Obviously, they're not coming here for any sort of celebrity or stuff like that. But, yeah, to answer the point... Yes, I do feel these local shows, these smaller toy shows, are still absolutely worth it. Um, you know, you can still find some great deals, um, people moving stuff from their personal collection, stuff like that. Um, yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta hope that the vendors cycle through um, things like that. Um, I have definitely noticed that the Funko, sorry for you Funko lovers out there, uh, the Funko selection has gone down a lot. Um, so they've kind of gotten back to the more action figure centric and comic book stuff. Um, so that's been good um, over the last couple months. I've noticed those when I hit these local shows. So very cool. But yeah, absolutely. Support your local toy shows. Um, you know, they don't happen if you don't go. So definitely pop in there, spend 20 bucks, spend 30 bucks, or in my case, spend 100. But uh, yeah, so just to hammer it home, yes, local toy shows are still absolutely worth attending. So um, yeah. But I think that's going to be it. So before you get on out here, do us a favor, hit us with that like, hit us with the comment, and of course subscribe because the YouTube man up above is is really throttling us. We did something to make the algorithm mad, and we haven't gotten a new subscriber in what seems like forever. So you could be that new one. Get us there. Uh, but for myself, for Uncle BJ, we're going to go ahead and throw one back, and we'll see you all next time.